In this video, I will show you how to add integers using absolute values or following the rules of adding integers. Let's say we start with something that you are already familiar with. Let's say you have two and you are adding three to that two. From elementary school, you learned that this is two plus three. And some of you might have learned how to do this on the number line. And your teacher showed you that from zero to model two, you move two steps to the right of zero. So you move to number one all the way to number two. That is two steps to the right of zero. And then because you're adding a three, that means from two, you're going to move three steps going to the right, which will end up, will end you at positive five. Therefore, the answer is five. If you Think about this in the perspective of absolute values. The steps that you took from 0 to 2 is actually the absolute value of 2. In symbols, that looks like this. And the absolute value of 2 simply means the distance of positive 2 from 0, which is 2. And the steps that you took from 2 to 5, which is 3 steps, the other one was 2 steps. So the distance from 2 to 5, which is 3 steps, is actually the same or equal to the distance of 3 from 0. Because the distance of 3 from 0 is 3 steps. In symbols, it looks like this. And the absolute value of 3 is 3. So if you think about this in absolute values, to find 2 plus 3 is the same as adding their absolute values. So if you add these two absolute values, you'll get five. And the reason why you're adding them is because the signs of these two numbers are the same, which means that they are heading towards the same direction. In short, when you're adding integers with the same sign, all you have to do is add their absolute values. Now, let's see if that is the same if you're adding both negative integers. Let's say we have negative two plus negative 3. On the number line, it would mean starting from 0, going to negative 2. And then from there, you're going to move 3 steps to the left of negative 2 because you're adding a negative 3. Negative direction is to the left of where you're at on the number line. So 1, 2, 3. That's where you're going to stop. And what number is it? Well, if this is negative 2, this is negative 3, this is negative 4, and therefore this is negative 5. So the answer is negative 5. Now notice that what we did here is simply add the absolute values of these two numbers. The absolute value of negative 2 is equal to positive 2. That is the distance of negative 2 from 0. There is no such thing as negative distance, so even the absolute values of negative numbers are positive. And the absolute value of negative 3, which in symbols look like this, is equal to 3 because that is the distance of negative 3 from 0. And if you look at the number line model for negative 2 plus negative 3, that absolute value of negative 3, which is 3, is actually the same as the number of steps or the distance traveled from negative 2 to negative 5, okay, which is 3. So here we have two steps. Here we have three steps to the left. And all we had to do was to put together these number of steps and we end up with 5. But because we are adding both negative, we are going to copy that common sign. So the answer is this, negative 5. Now what happens if you are adding a positive and a negative number? Let's say we have negative 2 plus, sorry, negative 2 plus 3, okay? If the signs are the same, you add their absolute values. If the signs are different, what we do is find the difference of their absolute values. In short, subtract their absolute values. So 
we are going to find the absolute value of negative 2. And that is 2, because that's the distance of negative 2 from 0. And the absolute value of 3 is 3, because that is the distance of 3 from 0. Because the signs are different, we are going to find the difference of these two absolute values, starting with the greater absolute value, take away the lower absolute value. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And then we are going to copy the sign of the number with a greater absolute value. In this case, positive 3 has a greater absolute value than negative 2. Therefore, we are going to copy the sign of positive 3. So the answer is 1 or positive 1. I hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions.